cultural expert and music composer Mbuso Koza has been selected by the Amazulu royal family to compose traditional songs for King Misuzulu Gazwelitini's Ungena Esbayeni ceremony. Now Koza will lead the Amazulu regiments, that's Amabuto, in song as Misuzulu prepares to enter the kraal. He's known for his passion for Zulu history and music. For more on what the plans around this entail, Koza joins us now via our video link. And it's lovely to have you on the program, Bob Koza. Thanks very much indeed for making time. You know, it goes without saying that music is an integral part of Zulu tradition and in often cases, yes. um, the message behind those songs is very deliberate. How has that informed the kind of contributions we'll be making this weekend? Uh, thank you so much for having me. And uh, firstly, I wish to say that uh, it will be projecting the, the Zulu Prime Minister as incompetent to say he appointed me. He invited me as a musician who is a lover of culture. Mm. Because there is a protocol when you enter in a crawl, uh, I mean, traditionally when the king is about to perform that ritual, there are people like uh, Prince uh, Uvanana of Wamiyama, people who are really deep in this music, but I am in, in, invited some sort of a, a mentorship because uh, on Monday uh, I drove to uh, the palace and I met with uh, the prince. All of us, we got there. He had like a, a workshop of Amahubo inside the crown, now saying this is what uh, should be followed. And now there's a number of Amahubo from King Shada. Uh, up to now, that will be performed uh, tomorrow. I, I wanted to uh, clarify that part because in the media it's easy for things to get misconstrued. Sure, fair enough. Um, you know, it's interesting to note that you know part of you know the, the conceptualization of this music comes through a yes. workshop process. It raises questions around where the songs come from, and what I mean by that is, is there a modernization process that we should anticipate? Yes. Are you keeping as close as you can to the original version of the songs? And again, what informs those kind of decisions? Um, there, is no, there won't be any modernization. I'm, I'm the only one who is modernizing my home. But what will be happening there will be traditionally and carefully uh, I mean, uh, performed. But what Umdo Alawapindangene did by inviting all of us in Duna Mabuto to come and have a result, in his, we call it Umfundelo. In his words, he said, Surely there should be a practice Umfundelo. Mm -hmm. How much more about such a big day? So he called all of us, we gathered there, and then he set us down with the elders a word for way. This word means this, Lady Hubo. So now, if we start uh, with Ukin Shaga, uh, what will be happening is that uh, okay, we start to perform the song that was sung by King Shaga. Two hours he was uh, assassinated. Undaba, Amazil, he's along in Gomoza Mato, to make a chance for Ketana Makwana. Undaba, Amazil, he's along in Gomoza Mato. Maybe if I were to explain further, what is Amahubo? Because someone is asking maybe at home, what is this, this uh, style of singing? It is where Zulus managed to record their histories, recorded maybe the names of uh, of the society, such as the onomastics. So when we say, Already you're asking yourself, what is Unongoma? Unongoma is uh, King Zwide's uh, palace. Uh, Ugungoma, Uksina, Ugumelan. You know, there's a lot around yeah, Amahubo yeah. that can be studied. Yes. Sure, and we look forward to seeing it all materialize. Very quickly, you know, many people, again, who are watching from the outside, might think to themselves that a lot of the singing happens spontaneously. It's interesting to note that, you know, in some instances, there's a deliberate rehearsal to make sure that you get it right. How much room is there yes. for spontaneity in the kind of musical aspects of tomorrow's ceremony? Well, maybe let me explain again what, when we say umfundelo uh, erehezad. I mean, you can shall compose a lot of Amakubo and other people who were really talented around the time. But when he passed away, uh, you could not perform his song because that would threaten the current king. Why are you singing his songs? Do you want him to come back or you want to overthrow me? You, you need that kind of, of thinking, aristocratic uh, courts, uh, like in the olden days. So now King Dingani comes in and everyone thinks, 
And now we're going to be fine. No one is going to kill one another because King Shaga is God. And then King Tingana started afresh. And then there was a song. You, you know, so what I'm trying to say, I'm a hobo, uh, a recorder of history. I'm a hobo, they serve as a scroll of the nation. I'm a hobo, they also serve as a teacher. Uh, they carry that, uh, they say, a mathematic of timelessness in terms of the melodies. Each time you sing those melodies, you, 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 something gets involved. And I wish to mention that around 1953, Yosef Gobble, uh, uh, they came up with a, 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 a tuning uh, method that is called 440. Mm-hmm. A natural sound in the olden days used to be um, uh, on 433. Uh, like, now 440 is taking us to do re mi fa so la ti do si re si to si ti la so fa mi re do. So now you are tuned already. And then they were making that frequent so that we, we can get depressed and want to fight. And look at what happened in, in Germany. You know, so music is very important. Sure. And fascinating to listen to you speak all about it. Your passion really comes through. And we can't wait to see what's been put together ahead of this weekend ceremony. For now, thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. Uh, Mbuso Koza is a cultural expert and a music composer, part of the team that's putting together the repertoire ahead of Ongena Esbayin for King Mrs. Zulu.